Hey, what's up, Deke? RelaxShacks.com. A reminder, September 15th through the 17th, fully hands-on Tiny House Workshop. We have Diedrichson Brothers Styles Tiny House Summer Camp 5. As for this tour here, it's one of the cooler Tiny House rentals I have yet to stay in. Out in Chattanooga. My wife Erin and I were designing this house. We kind of wanted a couple different things, but mainly the only way I could convince her to build a tiny house was if she could design all aspects of it from the finishing to everything. So we have a huge farmhouse apron sink here. Uh, tiny house big sink is, the, is what we always say, but quartz countertops. Um, but we just wanted a place where if we wanted to, to cook a full blown meal, we could. So we have a range with a small oven and she wanted to be able to do what she could do in a normal house and not feel confined or limited by not having an oven or something like that. Um, so we have plenty of counter space. Um, we've cooked big meals in here. We actually had some guests come and stay with us um, for Thanksgiving and they cooked a full blown Thanksgiving meal and that was impressive. <laughs> um, this here is a sort of a transitional space. Um, we wanted an option for more counter space, uh, but we also wanted to be able to fold it down. So this does fold down and drops into the wall. So it's a great spot for breakfast or you know getting some work done. Um, but yeah, we just, for Old Blue Chair, we wanted that farmhouse chic look that is really popular right now and sort of all the comforts of home. What about the Harry Potter nook? I hear that's what yeah. it's called. We, yeah, so I'm sure that's a hit with the kids. Yeah, we have a Harry Potter nook here. Um, it's a great space to curl up with a book. We have a reading light in here, and we, we have bookshelves that are built into the back side of the stairs, and we keep games and, and stuff in there. Um, the porthole window looks out over the valley, and it has an incredible view. This is my favorite spot in the house. Um, there's also a smuggler's hatch for storage underneath here, so keep tools and different stuff in there but um it's just very cozy and we've had kids sleep in there we've had adults sleep in there as <laughs> well just depends, <laughs> depends on the circumstances very small adults yes but <laughs> this house it's a dual loft so we have a queen size loft up here and then we have a twin xl loft opposite um, and then this couch actually folds down into a full size full size bed as well so it sort of cantilevers out and this top folds back. Um, Ikea engineering, yeah. like tiny houser's best friend. This table actually folds down as well. So uh, we can, there's a, another stool over here at this bar. So we snag that and you can have seating for two. Um, but this drops down too if you just have people hanging out and you want more um, standing room. We just wanted uh, the whole space to feel very light and airy. Lots of windows, whitewashed walls. Um, we stained the ceiling a different color just to pull out the contrast and make it feel a little bit more dramatic in here. What about the bathroom? I yeah. Say. So, it's, it's actually a very good sized bathroom. Yeah, ab absolutely. So that was one of the things is um, in Shanger Little, one of our other houses, it has a very small shower. And I'm just... I hate touching the walls when I'm showering. Like, I, I just... I'm weird about it. <laughs> so... We also knew we were going to do a dual loft setup. And so I knew we were gonna have at least a twin size bed. So I said, let's just make the bathroom as big as we can without limiting the main living space. So we have a really nice size um, bathroom here, a full on shower uh, stall with a seat. Um, the toilet's oriented in a way where you have plenty of room and we have plenty of storage and storage under the sink. We have some fitted pipe, and this fitted pipe is awesome. It's used throughout the house for shelving and railings and stuff like that. Um, but the, I don't know if you can get it, but the view from this bathroom is. Well, the view from any window is unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Like it just The view uh, looking over the valley is just pretty hard to beat. 
and they uh, just moved up here on Lookout Mountain, I should add. Yeah. These are all tiny house rentals. Uh, the landscaping still being done, so this is early in the phases of the new locale. That's right. Deke was our first guest. That's right. I'm honored, man. This place is incredible. <laughs> now, budget-wise, if you don't mind telling, what did something ballpark like this run? Because people always ask. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, I think we're we're about 60, 65 with the, the finishing and stuff like that. Okay. Um, and I think it's always funny to, because we're, I mean, we're building more and, and thinking about new designs and how much your life impacts you like when you're designing a space and so my wife and I designed this before we had we had a, a daughter she's eight months old her name's Clara and so uh, we designed this before we had a kid and now we have a kid and so we're trying to understand on our next build how that impacts the design and that's been a fun process but overall like every t every house has a soul and old blue chair is just it's a it's a rare find. It, it gives you a certain feeling when you walk in here. What's great about your compound here um, is that each house is so drastically different. Yes. Which I would want to come back to stay in different ones. Collect them all, I say. Yeah. Absolutely. There's a different feel. There's a different view, different approach to every one of the houses. Well, that's one of the things we wanted is part of our whole sort of mission statement for the business is to bridge the gap between sort of tiny house living and seeing them on the internet or not on TV in reality as far as actually helping people make that transition and so we wanted all the houses to be uniquely appealing to every different type of person um, and we also wanted to have a lot of different amenities that way if you're if you're really thinking about going tiny you can come stay at live a little and you can stay in four drastically different houses and say I don't need a kitchen that's this big I don't need a bathroom that's this big this is important to me this isn't if people want to rent off you guys and i highly recommend it not because i'm sitting in front of you here but i just spent three nights here it's awesome where right. do they go yeah so you can go to live a little chat that's live a little and then chat like chattanooga c-h-a-t-t dot com and you can also just find us on airbnb we're also on instagram facebook live a little chat find us there and also if you're just thinking about going tiny and just looking for advice we've encountered most things that you'll run into so hit us up we're glad to help